All right, y'all, Catfish Dave here. I got me some beanie weenies, some bumblebee, tuna salad snack on the run, some cheese, and some cheap catfish hooks. I'll leave a link to these hooks on the description of the video. Kunselane Circle Hook Kit, carbide steel, size 12 40 pieces, 20 bucks, that's 50 cent a hook. The hooks I normally use are these Team Catfish 10 knots. That pack of two cost over $6. Now one thing about these cheaper hooks, I can look at all of them, and uh, if I can get one out here. And you can see like these little marks or something, indentations in the metal that you won't find in a higher quality mustad. Uh, but do you want to pay two or three dollars for a large hook, sometimes more, or do you want to pay 50 cents? I'm gonna be tying these on today and catching my first catfish on these cheap hooks. I'm gonna start off on the late morning bite work on this creek over here, and then towards the afternoon bite, I'll work another one over there. Gizzard shad is the bait of choice in this colder part of year. To save time, I'm just going to put these on two rods, the two white Berkeley E-Cat rods. That way I can get to fishing. They've got a bent eye, so they need to be snelled. That's a dragon spook. That one came from the Mad Cats people. They're out of stock every time I try to order more. I like them. They can't seem to keep them in stock though, so I guess lots of other people like them too. Clinch knot to the back of that. Gizzard Shad head on there. A dragon weight. Here in a video coming up, I'll tell y'all where you can get some that are just like these. This, uh, that's one of those team catfish in the hook has been bent. This is the one I landed that 52 pounder on. Uh, the point is really out of whack on this. So I, I need to get that off there. And I'll keep a team catfish on this rod since I'm confident in the hookup on them. The two white ones have the cheaper Kunsulane hooks. We're ready to catch some catfish if they bite. The cold front just blew through. Rain Night before last and a bunch of hard wind yesterday kept me from fishing. So let's hope they bite to see if we can catch some on these cheap Chinese hooks. That's a new reel I got. It's my light setup Phoenix Abyss HD rod. And that is a Shimano Tranks 400. This ain't cheap. That's my fun rod. Throw the old cheap hooks out on the white rods. These are Berkeley E-Cat rods from Catfish Connection. Pretty much my favorite cheap. And when I mean cheap, they're like 69 bucks. They feel like a high-end rod. They're not all floppy. They're lightweight. Nice Fuji graphite reel seat. And uh, they, they got a lot more backbone than some of these previous rods I've used. A 
I've got two rods with braided line. This one and that middle one, and I got heavy mono. I've just been experimenting between the differences. This is a little Daiwa Saltus, 15 size, nice little reel. Non-level one, you gotta do it with your thumb. I like it. We may lose my ability to have audio out here if this wind gets too bad. Either way, you know what we're doing. Trying to catch some catfish, hopefully some nice catfish and trying to get some on these cheap hooks. Slow bite so far. Couple channel cat taps. Well these fish in this cove right here has got lock jaw. So we're fixing to move to another one. If I don't get something on this next pool, I done fished here once. I guess I done sore lift what was in here and run them off. You can't test out a hook without no fish. So we're fixing to move on down the river just a bit. I think these fish start recognizing my boat after a while. Anytime I jump into a, a different body of water, I do really well for a while. I've covered every ounce of this cove. I've worked the middle, I've worked the edges, I've zigzagged back out and back in and I've got a couple channel cap bites. I'm not marking much either, but if they're down in the mud real tight, which they have been, you're not going to see them. There's going to be a feeding time sometime today where they got to come out and we're going to catch a fish on these cheap hooks. Never been in here. Hopefully we don't get hung up. Very short, steep rising uh, cove here. It's on the way to the other spot, so I'm going to try it first. You don't know until you throw. So we're going to give it a go. This ain't Watts Bar where there's a thousand dinks per acre. Well, I didn't get a nothing pulling out, but they seem to prefer it when you're pulling in. So we're pulling in. This don't pan out. And I'm not marking squat, I really ain't. I ain't marking squat in none of these places. I've been from 50 foot to four foot, and they gotta be down in the mud. They're gonna have to come out sometime to eat. We don't get nothing pulling in, we're going to spot number three. A few channel cap bites on the way back in. We're heading to spot number three. Spot number three. If I could ever get the first one to know about what depth to look, because I'm not seeing nothing. These things are down in the mud. Old weird post front cold weather bite. Gonna get a really wide spread on these boards. I've got room to do it. I ain't been right here yet. These fish here won't recognize my boat.
That's a good fish. Got this one shallow, 14 foot. Yeah, talk about a tough bite. That's on the wrong hook though. Got the bad juju off my new reel. All right, y'all, it's a fat fish. Yeah, woo, it was tough. I thought that was a snag, but it's moving. Good fish. He's a drag puller.
It went down like it was hung up. Then it started moving. Woo! On the cheap hooks. Ugh. Yeah. Check him out. Cheap hooks, man. Get yours today. 50 cents. Woo! I was playing with my phone. Slow this boat down. There's another catfish on a cheap hook. Yeah, it's got mud on it. That's why they were hard to find. They've been down in the mud. They're coming out for a little meal. And they're finding my cheap hooks. Ugh. Big fat salp. This one's got stuck pretty good. Woo! Cheap hooks, man.
every time I try to eat something. Got mud all over it. Another catfish on a cheap hook. Straighten up, let him see it. Well, we got some of the mud off him anyhow. got a fish pulling on that one. That's an odd bite there. Another one with mud on him, on a cheap hook. And a $69 Berkeley ECAP from Catfish Connection. Yeah! Whoa! Well, all right, y'all, my thumbs tore up. I'll leave a link for these hooks in the description of the video. We got fish on those cheap hooks. I got a fish on my new Shimano reel. That's a good deal, we can't beat that. We got some fat cats. Berkeley E-Cat rods, those white ones. Lightweight, plenty of power. Got a good sturdy tip on them, but yet they will bend. Best rod I found for the money so far. This is a video, there was fish in the video, that makes the fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.